October, you leave in April. And uh, he'd sit there and talk with my, my uh, great-grandfather, Tipi Sapa, and my father would be there sitting with him. All night they talked. And they talked about the greasy grass. They talked about the <coughs> low dog had been in that fight uh, with Custer, 7th Calvary. <coughs> and he would tell about how Tatanka Yotanka had a vision they had a vision. They would go north to Canada. And they would unite with the Crees, and we'd all unite together as one heart and one mind and many bodies. And of course, I spent uh, uh, 30 years of my life up in Alberta, there in Lethbridge, right in the heart of the, of the uh, Blackfoot Confederacy there. Of course, when they came and offered the pipe at that time, they refused that. The Crees came in. He said, well, it's not time yet. And so I really believe from in these prophecies that said that after this long winter time, we would awaken and we would have a destiny. And our destiny, not, not just one of us, all of us, our destiny was at a time of great, great, uh, great springtime, would be to arise and through this great teachings we have in the circle, these young future generations we heard sing that we would uh, not only uplift ourselves, but we would uplift the entire human family. And so this, this great calamity is upon us. And we're going to have just, just briefly relatives who have been working with this, Tom Goldtooth, Environmental Network, who's done so much groundwork that led to this gathering. Everybody who's been concerned, not only here, but you'll hear from Canada. So I want to give at this time thanksgiving to Prime Minister Stephen Harper of Canada for bringing this to be. Because what he's done is he's put down the final straw. Final straw. We'll hear here just a minute from Chief Darrell. Final straw. And at that point, 
people begin to arise across Canada. This is where this Island of the Lord movement's coming. Because in order to, to the greed of sucking that blood from Mother Earth, they begin to eliminate every environmental law without consultation, without free prior informed consent. And so at the final straw, four women stood up and said, no more. And of course, tonight we'll have an Idle No More round dance to celebrate that. And so what's happened to the North is that there has been a declaration signed called the Save the Fraser River Declaration. 130 First Nations have signed that, which now completely blocks that exit for two pipelines out to the, to the west coast of China. And of course, we're going to hear what's happening here as well as what's happening in the tar sands. We have a sister, Tan Tu Cardinal here, who her home is at the epicenter, at the center of this disgrace <coughs> to Mother Earth. So I believe that, that this vision of Tatanka Yotanka, Tashuka Ko, all these from many tribes had this vision. Tecumseh, clear back before that. All of them had this vision from the very beginning of the time of this invasion, that we would come together and together we would stand. But I think that vision we still hold, but now we realize it has to be unprecedented, unified action that brings together all members of the human family as one heart and one mind to end this once and for all so we can go on to the promised springtime and the promised time, they say, a day without night that's before us. And so <clears throat> that's the purpose here to, first of all, to see if we can talk about how can we together, without borders, without boundaries, with ranchers, farmers, environmental groups that are here, our nations who are here or not here, how we can come together and give a message to the president here, of our president, our chairperson of our tribe here, wrote a letter to him, inviting him to be here, not him, but a representative to come here. And it said in there that if this is signed, the XL Keystone Pipeline is signed, it will have very regrettable consequences. Because if you come up here later, you'll see all the maps, all the sacred places. You'll see all the camps where our ancestors camped, this pipeline going through. We know, and by the way, there's a, you'll get, soon get a, 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 a briefing on all this stuff that's happening around Mother Earth. And you'll see in Kalamazoo what happened when they have these kind of, this bitumen oil. It's like the dirty oil. It doesn't dissolve like the other oil. They're getting down as desperate as they can to get the stuff that is, is, is the most dirty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.